Okay guys, so here is my breakfast for today. So I just made basically breakfast tortillas um, or breakfast tacos. It's um, 225 grams of egg whites with some spinach, onions, and peppers in the egg whites. Um, the egg whites are just seasoned like I usually do with salt and adobo, with Himalayan salt and adobo. And then I have turkey bacon in there as well. And also fat-free American cheese that I put on top with uh, low-carb tortillas, whole wheat tortillas, and then the leftover eggs I obviously put on the side. So there's that, and yeah, that's gonna be my breakfast with my coffee, and that's it. Thought I'd do something a little different. I was thinking about doing oatmeal, but you guys already seen that, so here's another idea. So just so you guys know, this breakfast, um, the macros for this breakfast are 36 grams of carbs, 10 grams of fat and 37 grams of protein. There are two cauliflower crust pizzas. So all I did was get one packet of the cauliflower crust which comes with two servings. And then I just added 67 millimeters of Heinz tomato ketchup and fat-free shredded mozzarella. That was about 34 grams and also 34 grams of the fat-free cheddar cheese. So I used both mozzarella and cheddar and both are fat free and then about halfway through when this was heating up this all together takes about 10 minutes so halfway through um, I took it out really quick and just put the the lean beef on top because I didn't want that to cook too much because it was already cooked I just kind of wanted to heat up in the pizza so about halfway I took it out and I put the beef on top and I put about four ounces of lean beef and then I also went ahead and seasoned it with a little basil and parsley and a tiny bit of salt. And that is a finished product, guys. So I'm probably gonna have this tonight um, at work for my dinner and then um, probably have the other slice when I get back home from work tonight. So yeah, that's it. It's pretty easy. It takes about 15 minutes altogether and very good in carbs. I will add the carbs right here so you guys can see them. Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I am finally making an intro to this video. So today is, uh, today is someday. Today is June 18th, it is Tuesday, and it is my rest day. I do have to work in a little bit, but I thought I would come on here really quick. As you can see my hair, is wet and knotty so um don't judge still haven't brushed it yet but i just really wanted to quickly jump on here and give like a little update on how everything is going obviously you guys saw my um my first physique update so um i did incorporate that in the beginning so that's when i first woke up this morning and yeah so I feel like so far, I really cannot complain about this prep. I mean, obviously it hasn't been easy. Like I have days where it's just really hard to get through the day, um, especially by the time I get to work, like around 2.30, like I'm exhausted. But other than that, like I feel like it's going pretty smoothly. Yes, I have 
times where my weight jumps around um, but overall it seems to be even if it jumps around a few days overall it seems to be declining slowly but surely um, I feel leaner so that's the most important thing is I do feel a lot leaner I see a lot of changes in my physique and um, Honestly, like sometimes like I'll look at myself in the mirror and I'm just like, how is this even my body? Like I never thought I would look the way I do now. Um, so it's pretty incredible what your body does and how much it changes in such a short amount of time. Um, but anyways, yeah, I do fluctuate in weight, but I have been dropping weight. I've noticed basically after every high carb day. So the past two high carb days that I've had, I've dropped weight. The, the next day which is an awesome sign um and i'm very happy about it like i don't know if you guys follow me on instagram but if you do you would have seen on my story the huge yogurt that i got from yogurtology and i put one of the revival protein cookies in it and i kind of like just crumbled it up in there and was just eating it like that and it was first of all heaven it tasted freaking amazing but i was just like I don't think I'm gonna drop weight this time. And I woke up and I dropped weight. So, goes to show that um, if your body needs it, it needs it. So, um, I was very happy about that. And um, I've been trying to do things or make meals that are going to make me fuller longer. So yes, granted oatmeal does help but because i'm in such low carbs i can't have that much oatmeal so um i'll do things like add eggs to my oatmeal or when i'm doing a stir fry i'll do like cauliflower because it is more filling and is very voluminous and i'll just add in like spinach and mushrooms and beef and stuff like that and it ends up being a good amount of food for very little macros so um, I've been doing that. So I've been just trying to figure out ways that I can stay fuller longer, especially being in a caloric deficit. Obviously I'm hungry a lot and pretty frequently. So um, yeah, so I've been trying to do that. And one of the most frequent updates I would say is that I got my cycle. I started my cycle a whole week early so technically i wasn't supposed to get my start my cycle till june 23rd so on sunday i wasn't supposed to be starting it until sunday and um i got it yesterday i started it and i was not expecting it at all like usually i get cramps like really bad cramping and i know it's coming i get symptoms before that make me aware that it's coming around a corner but i had no symptoms whatsoever and it just came out of nowhere and i'm like what the heck so um i do know that if like a lot of bikini competitors um because you're so such in a caloric deficit and your hormones are changing and everything that you your cycle will change or can change so some girls experience more than one period a month some girls experience that they lose their period completely some girls experience that it just changes dates like it moves around so it's not consistent um not that any of these are healthy things guys this is not what i'm saying but um that's what comes with competing so or prepping to compete so yeah um mine came a whole week early so surprisingly i didn't get any symptoms um i didn't even really gain weight i'm sitting at 119.4 this morning and um last time i got my cycle i gained at least four pounds three to four pounds so this time the fact that i'm still sitting at 119 like that's awesome i'm not complaining that i'm not gaining weight but um but yeah so that was definitely a surprise to me uh so yeah i thought i'd give you guys just a little update on how everything so far is going in my prep and those are kind of like the main things um my coach just changed my uh my training routine so 
basically I'm going to really kick it up a notch for the next eight weeks. I have a little, I want to say a little over seven weeks, close to eight weeks left. Um, and yeah, we're really going to start kicking it up a notch with training. So he changed my training. So I'm really excited to start that this week. I'll be starting that tomorrow when I get back in the gym. So, and tomorrow's my high carb day. So I'm really excited about that. But yeah, guys, uh, I just want to give you guys a little update on how my prep is going. And uh, that's about it. So I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. I cannot wait to eat that pizza that's sitting over there. It's like cooling off right now, but it looks so freaking good. And I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Ugh, I'm so excited to eat it. But before work, I'm gonna have um, some oatmeal with eggs and yeah, call it a day. What's up everybody? So it is now 11.54 at night. Um, I actually got back from work around 11.30, but I went to Walmart really quick to get some stuff that I needed, like egg whites for tomorrow morning. So now I'm home a little later, but I'm going to have my last meal of the day. And it's just gonna be one packet of my oatmeal with 15 grams of nuts and more. And that's it. And that's gonna end my macro. So I'll show you guys when it's done. Alrighty guys, so here it is. Just my oatmeal and my 15 grams of chocolate maple pretzel nuts and more per usual. And yeah, that's gonna be my last meal of the day. <laughs> 